Welcome to Meravit Education Center. This lesson is for Mathematics Mathem 1. Before we start our lesson, let's have a quick review on how to graph a linear equation using table of values. We have here 2x minus y equals 4. Step number 1, express y as the subject of the equation. So from 2x minus y equals 4, it will be now y equals 2x minus 4. Step number 2, create a table of values. Plug in random values for x to substitute to the equation to solve for the value of y. Example, if we have x equals negative 2, y equals 2 times negative 2 minus 4. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 4 equals negative 8. Next, if x equals negative 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times minus 4 equals negative 6. Next, 2 times 0 equals 0. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 minus 4 equals 0. And then for step number 3, we're going to plot the points in our Cartesian plane and then connect it with a straight line. So this is the line of y equals 2x minus 4. Our lesson for today is about graphing linear equation in two variables using x and y intercepts. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to understand how to find the x and y intercept and graph a linear equation in two variables using x and y intercept. So what is an intercept? It is a point at which the graph crosses the axis. And when I say axis, it could be x-axis or y-axis. Therefore, there are two different intercepts the x-intercept and the y-intercept. What is x-intercept? x-intercept is where the line crosses the x-axis. For this example, in which coordinate does the line crosses the x-axis? So, the line crosses the x-axis at 3, 0. Therefore, the x-intercept is 3, 0. Next, what is y-intercept? y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. For this example, the line crosses the y-axis at 0, 2. Therefore, the y-intercept is 0, 2. Now that you know how to identify the x and y-intercept, I will now show you the steps on how to graph a linear equation using x and y-intercept. Step number one, write the equation in general form. That is ax plus by equals c, wherein a and b are coefficients of the variable x and y, and c are our constants. Next, step number two, find the x-intercept. Step number three, find the y-intercept. Step number four, Plot the intercepts, then connect the points with a straight line. Let's have some examples. Let's graph x plus y equals 5. Step number 1. Write the equation in general form. Since this equation is already written in general form, we're going to proceed to step number 2, which is to solve for the x-intercept. In solving for x-intercept, always remember that y is always equal to 0. So, x plus y equals 5, x plus 0 equals 5, x equals 5. So, our x-intercept is 5, 0. Next, step number 3. Solve for y-intercept. In solving for y-intercept, x is always 0, so x plus y equals 5, 0 plus y equals 5, y equals 
5. Therefore, our y-intercept is 0, 5. So, we can now plot these points in our Cartesian plane. Again, our x-intercept is 5, 0, and our y-intercept is 0, 5. And then, once you plot the points, connect it with a straight line. So this is the graph of x plus y equals 5. Example number 2. Let's graph 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. Step number 1. Write the equation in general form. So we're going to transpose negative 3x to the left-hand side of the equation. And then our new equation will be 3x plus 2y equals 6. Step number 2, we're going to solve for the x-intercept. Remember, in solving for x-intercept, y is always 0. So, let's substitute. 2 times 0 is always 0. So, 3x plus 0 equals 6. Divide both sides by 3. The answer is x equals 2. So our x-intercept is 2 comma 0. Next, let's solve for the y-intercept. In solving for y-intercept, x is always 0. So 0 times 3 equals 0. 0 plus 2y equals 6. Divide both sides by 2, so y equals 3. Our y-intercept is 0, 3. And then we're going to plot the points on our Cartesian plane. The x-intercept is 2, 0. The y-intercept is 0, 3. Connect the two points with a straight line. And this is the line of 3x plus 2y equals 6. Next example, let's graph x plus 3y equals 3. Step number 1, write the equation in general form. Is this equation written in general form? Yes. So, we're going to proceed to step number 2, which is to solve for the x-intercept. Let y equal 0. So, x plus 0 equals 3. x equals 3. Our x-intercept is 3, comma 0. Easy, right? Next, step number 3. Solve for y-intercept. So, x equals 0. 0 plus 3y equals 3. Divide both sides by 3. The answer is y equals 1. Our y-intercept is 0, 1. Next, let's graph the points on our Cartesian plane. Again, our x-intercept is 3, 0. And our y-intercept is 0, 1. So, once you plot the points, connect it with a straight line. So, this is the graph of x plus 3y equals 3. Example number 4. Let's graph 12 equals negative 4x. So, since this equation is a linear equation with one variable, let's now solve it and simplify. So, 4x equals negative 12. Divide both sides by 4. So, x equals negative 3. Now, let's solve for the x-intercept. What do you think is our x-intercept? Correct. Our x-intercept is negative 3, 0. There's no y-intercept for this problem, so we can now graph our x-intercept. So, negative 3, 0, and then make a vertical line. Therefore, this is the line of x equals negative 3. Practice time! I'm going to give you three problems. In each problem, I will let you pause the video and solve it. Once you're done, click the play button to check your answer. Do the same thing for question number two and question number three. Are you ready? Problem number one. Graph 2x plus 3y equals 12. 
Please pause the video to answer. Let's check. Since the equation is written in general form, copy it as it is. Then, calculate for the x and y intercepts. If y is 0, x equals 6. If x equals 0, y equals 4. Then, plot the points in our Cartesian plane. X intercept is 6, 0. Y intercept is 0, 4. Connect it with a straight line, and this is the line of 2x plus 3y equals 12. Next, problem number 2. Please pause the video to answer. Let's check. 3x plus y equals 6. Copy it as it is. Solve for the x and y intercept. If y is 0, x equals 2. If x equals 0, y equals 6. Plot the points in our Cartesian plane. The x-intercept is 2, 0, and the y-intercept is 0, 6. Connect the points to the straight line. This is the graph of 3x plus y equals 6. Problem number 3. Graph x equals 2y plus 4. Please pause the video to answer. Let's check. Write the equation in general form. So, x minus 2y equals 4. Step number 2. Calculate the x and y intercepts. If y equals 0, x equals 4. If x equals 0, y equals negative 2. Then, plot the points in our Cartesian plane. The x-intercept is 4, 0. And the y-intercept is 0, negative 2. Then connect the points with a straight line. This is the line of x minus 2y equals 4. This is the end of our lesson about graphing linear equation using x and y intercepts. Hope you've learned something and always remember, knowledge is a treasure but practice is the key. See you next time.